So this is unit 26, it's work experience. We're looking at P2, which is selecting appropriate work-based experience and support and completing the application process. And then P3, demonstrating interview skills as an interviewee. This is Kieran Skinner. Um, it's the 14th of October. And he's going to be interviewed for a football business and finance degree at Wembley Stadium. Yep. Okay. Hello, my name's Theresa and I'm... Um coordinator for them in support so I'm just going to ask you a few questions okay and I'm going to take some notes if I can yeah, all right um ask questions as you go along you know if there's something you need to know yep. um and you know think about the question carefully and you know really sort of give me a really good in-depth answer okay, yeah. okay. um so can you tell me a little bit about yourself then um I'm a hard working boy I got did really well in my GCSEs, got the right grades to get into this college. I do my football coaching every week. It improves my confidence so well. I've played football for 12 years. I'm really committed to it. Very rarely miss football at all. Like It's basically what I want to do in the future. So who, who do you coach when you do your coaching? I coach Astley Football Club. Under 11s team. Um, Ask to be football team, under 11s, yeah? Yeah. And how long have you been doing that for? About a year and four months. And did you have to have training for that? Um, I did my level one coaching here at Brooksby last year, well, a couple of months ago, just before the summer. So you've got your level one? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so obviously you're very committed to football, you're very um, passionate about it. Do you have any other hobbies or do you do anything else besides? No, I don't do an awful lot compared to football. It kind of pretty much takes up. Besides football, and I do work as well, evenings. So. Do you? Where yeah. do you work? Weatherspoons. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'll probably see an email then. <laughs> and do you enjoy that? Yeah, it's really yeah. enjoyable. I've been doing it for about two months now. Have you? Yeah. That's great, thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about what are your key skills and what you feel your strengths are? I communicate well with people. I'm respected by a lot of people. I get on with everybody really well. about with your coaching so what do you feel your um, key strengths are and skills are with uh, your coaching um, like doing the drills create good ideas for drills for the kids to uh, improve their skills in football so you work with a lot of the under 11s yeah. So, um, and you get on well, you know, with everybody. How do you get on? How is it that you get on with people, and how do you feel that you communicate well? I always keep calm when they're messing about. I don't tend to shout a lot. I want them to respect me. Yeah, but if okay. I shout at them a lot, they might not like me. Yeah, you can quite. Um, I just imagine they can get quite overexcited yeah, at times. Yeah, they're about that age. Just keep running around and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep you excited. Yeah. Um, so can can you tell me what you feel like perhaps some of your weaknesses are? Do you feel you have any weaknesses? I probably could speak louder, I could be more vocal when I'm talking to them. When I talk to anybody in large groups, I should just be a bit more louder so I don't have to repeat myself to get my point across. Um, so why do you want this job? It seems something I really like to do. I'm very good at business. I'm good with numbers. I did well in school with my business studies. I passed that. I passed my maths. I passed my English. All the important.
grades that are needed to get into this college and then into the future as well. So you're good with business, so um, you've obviously got a bit of the business side to it and you're also passionate about football. Do you yep. know much about the business side of things or is it or completely new to you? I understand the business of about players and stuff, contracts, well, like buying players, prices and everything. Now it works with that. And the club's money and stuff like that. So you know quite a bit about the background um, yeah. and how. Because that's quite a thing, isn't it, about buying um, players, players and that. So you know quite a bit about the funding and and all the rest of it. Yeah. So I think that's, that's great. So, um, can you tell me um, about a difficult scenario that maybe perhaps you had when it was a difficult time, that you might have had, and how you dealt with it? In football? Or anything oh, in your uh, life? In football, I've had an argument with people. Have you? Yeah. I, mean, I, I do lines with them sometimes at weekends, and then I have arguments with people, I have to get through it. I make up with them. I don't like arguing with people a lot. So how do you deal with, deal with it if there is a bit of then? I just walk off, calm myself down and then I come back and apologise if it's wrong in my behalf. And could you just tell me what are your career goals? What is the the, the most that you'd like to do? I'd like to be quite high, like maybe a manager of of the bus of well This is a finance manager actually. Be like the head of everybody, like be in control of what they do, be their boss. People respect me. And you know sort of what the career progression is and sort of how to get. To I have to go to uni, do a three year course. Get I've got to do three levels. I do a level each year to progress to become higher. To get a job in the future. Mm-hmm. And then do you know sort of like you're in football, kind of what progression weeks there are. I've been looking there. at it. I've been, there's apprenticeships I could do. Yeah. Go to different clubs. Work with them. See what happens. Okay, that's all from me. Are there any questions that you'd like to ask? Uh, no, there's not. No. Can't think of any now. No? Okay, then. Lovely. Thank you, Teresa. Would you, would you like to feedback? Um, I've got some feedback. Do you want to go yeah, first? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you answered those questions quite well, actually. Um, you told me about yourself because you was hard working that you did well in your GCSEs, um, you're obviously very committed to football, and you've obviously got the passion there, which I yeah. is, is come through with that. Um, you told me about the vegetables as well, so, um, and then you've done your level one coaching, so in the fact that you're teaching the under 11s, you know, I think it's quite good. Um, you communicate well with people, you get on with everybody really well, in your drills, um, I would have liked to perhaps have heard a little bit more about how you communicate with yep. people, um, you know, in which way you feel that you, you get on. Okay, yep. But I think I've some good answers there. Um, knowing what your weaknesses were, you know that you're a bit, um, you need to be, be a bit more vocal. Yeah. I know it's very hard to sort of try and get that across. So if you know that that's what your weakness is, yeah, just and, need to um, work. Just work on that. Yeah, that's that's really good. Um, why do you want this job? Um, you know that you want to go into the business side of it, so you know yeah. that it's not all just about kicking the ball yeah. around the pitch, that there is funding and about um, buying um, players and, and where the money sort of goes and how football works as a whole, because I don't know. So you obviously seem to know contracts and 
been managers so I think um, that's good um, at looking at your career goals maybe perhaps you need to look a little bit more and perhaps see what yeah. exactly the progression routes are yeah. and having a look at just seeing exactly what kind of jobs there are out there and what works available yeah. um, and about the um, having an argument with people walking off but I'm not quite sure whether that would be that's the right maybe way to explain it what, what could you say differently I don't know no I think maybe saying um, not maybe perhaps just walk off but maybe say I, I think you know perhaps we need to agree to disagree and maybe leave this here at the moment I think maybe I'm just going to go away and think about things rather yeah. than just walk off mm -hmm. um, but coming back when things are calm and apologising if you're in the wrong yeah I think that's quite good um, 